20 Ukrainian horsemen tried break through the border in Kobrinsky region of Belorussia yesterday. Belorussia Frontier Guards stopped the invaders with fire. According to Frontier Guard report, few horsemen were injured and Ukrainians have stepped back from Belorussia. The investigation has two versions of this case. Or Ukrainian progress have reached level which allowed only equestrian raiders at nearby states for food, or else brave hairs of Zaporozhian Cossacks have tried to flee from the new wave of mobilization in Ukraine. The part of Ukrainian media have at least recognized information that the US-backed forces of Kyiv regime were surrounded around town Zabalsova. But Ministry of Defense of Ukraine and real patriots like Channel Ukraine Today and famous Ukrainian military analyst Dmitry Timchuk have denied information about the pocket. Five Ukrainian soldiers were killed and another nine were wounded in the Donbas conflict zone in the last 24 hours. And enemy have used whole reserves, report them. But who is this? Oh, they are Ukrainian soldiers whom have given themselves up in the Baltseva after failed try to break the pocket. Only according official information, more than 300 Kyiv troops gave themselves in the Baltseva yesterday. The rest of Kyiv forces are shelling and going offensive at village Logvino, which is controlled by DPR cover of the Debalseva's pocket. In incredibly biased TV report from the Donetsk airport, a BBC journalist started accusing Donetsk self-defense forces of breaking the ceasefire while almost getting killed by a Ukrainian peace-loving sticking to ceasefire shell. While Jan Panel, international BBC correspondent, was saying that the artillery fire appears to be mostly outgoing, there is a clear and visible evidence of incoming Ukrainian fire, resulting in a dangerous explosion extremely close to and directly behind him. Fortunately enough, outgoing fire hasn't landed on his thick head. Only moments after surviving Ukrainian shell in the BBC reporter, instead of stating the obvious that they were almost killed by Ukrainian shelling, has the audacity to state ludicrous claims that rebels are shelling themselves. This implicitly backing up Ukrainian point of view. Don't believe your eyes. Watch BBC and blame Donbas people whom is shelling themselves. Sam, go! Also, RT crew filmed how Kyiv army was breaking ceasefire in Donetsk airport yesterday on February 17, 2015. But who will believe that Russian propaganda channel with tiny, tiny audience? No one. Have you said video proofs? All these video proofs were filmed in Kremlin TV pavilions and Kyiv forces have come to the Donbas with love, not war. So stop questioning and don't prevent Kyiv government build democracy. Don't you know the great people whom serving in it? Self-styled Ukrainian president Petro Poroshenko is an only good actor who is ready to perform with political jokes anytime and anywhere. Also, President Poroshenko is powerful political necromant who can raise dead political losers for serving to failed state Ukraine. The mighty eater of ties, Mikhail Saakashvili, found oneself raised from the political graveyard by necromant patrol last Friday on February 13. He, who must not be named by ties, have become the head of the Advisory International Council of Reforms of Ukrainian President. The new head of Commission on Ethnic Relations in Ukraine is next in the line. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.